Forget the artificial kidney. This is the biggest breakthrough in the world of kidney disease and it's happening right now. It was truly the most beautiful kidney I have ever seen. On March 16, 2024, a 62-year-old man from Massachusetts was part of one of the biggest steps forward in the history of medicine. Richard Rick Sleiman, this is the name of the patient received a transplant from a pig. This is the first time in history a man who is actually alive receives a kidney from an animal. The man who previously risking his life because he wasn't able to receive dialysis anymore is now looking at spending the rest of his life completely free from dialysis and from kidney disease. Yes, this is not sci-fi. It's actually happening. Mr. Sleiman is in fact being discharged from the Massachusetts General Hospital as this video is being recorded and he is going home. The doctors involved in the surgery think that his new kidney will last him many years. This is what Dr. Tatsuo Kawai, who performed the transplant, says about that. It was truly the most beautiful kidney I have ever seen. Okay guys, this changes everything. Forget waiting for a transplant, forget the dialysis. Xenotransplantation is the future and it is happening right now. This is huge because only in the US, over 100,000 individuals are on the waiting list for organ transplants and most of them are waiting for a kidney. In the world, more than 30 million people suffer from kidney disease. What just happened will make all the difference for all of them. Because now the world is looking at a man that was almost on his deathbed at 62 and that is now going back to his life, his family and his job as a healthy man. All thanks to a kidney coming from an animal that can be farmed and that can be easily produced in a number that will be able to satisfy all the need for kidney transplants in the near future. Yeah, I hope you understand why I'm excited about this. This is the most beautiful kidney ever, as the surgeon rightfully said. There is just one thing now that's preventing even more patients from getting a kidney from a pig. And we will see what it is in the next part of the video. So now you may ask, how is this possible? How can you get a kidney from a pig? Well, this is not a normal pig we are talking about. You see, in theory, a pig is the perfect donor for human transplants because its organs are similar in size and function to human organs. However, there is one major issue with getting an organ from a pig. The human immune system can recognize pig organs as foreign and attack them, causing something called hyperacute rejection. As the name implies, this means very fast damage to the implanted organs, but not in this case. What these scientists did to make this possible will surprise you. You see, this is a genetically modified pig that has been cloned and that was born in a lab. His DNA was altered because after decades of research, these scientists were able to find which genes were causing the rejection. So he has lost several pig genes from his DNA so that we can use his organs. And not just the kidneys, the heart, the skin, and more can be used. It's amazing what science can do. But science is not the only hero in today's story. Mr. Sleiman, the man who received this genetically modified kidney, is taking a huge risk. He is the only person in the world today that can say he has an animal organ in him. 
And this man is not only doing this for himself. This man took a huge risk accepting to receive a kidney from an animal and he's doing this not just to save his life. He also saw this as an opportunity to make science advance, to be a human experiment and to help every single kidney disease patient. This is what his nephrologist says about that. He saw this as not only as a way to, to improve his own personal life, but a way to provide hope for the thousands of people who need a transplant to survive. Mr. Sleiman is also probably going to be the first one to be able to enjoy his life for years and years with an animal organ inside himself. This never happened before, because while Mr. Sleiman is not the first man to receive an organ from an animal before him, Kidneys from pigs were only transplanted into patients on artificial life support and that were not technically alive anymore. But this is not the case here. This man surely hopes to keep his new kidney for a long, long time. There is the not so remote possibility that his new kidney will last way longer than the one he previously received in a regular transplant. In fact, Mr. Sleiman received a kidney transplant at the hospital in 2018 but had to go back on dialysis last year when it showed signs of kidney failure. When dialysis complications arose requiring frequent procedures at the hospital, his doctor suggested a pig kidney transplant. I mean, I can only imagine what went through his mind when the doctor gave him this option. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around the fact that this is really happening and I can only imagine how a man who has received a kidney from a pig for the first time in history may feel. Okay, but now you may ask, if he got his kidney, why can everyone else get a kidney from a pig today? Well, you see, Mr. Sleiman was a special case. He had trouble being on dialysis and needed dozens of procedures to try to remove clots and restore blood flow. According to his nephrologist, at one point, he literally said, I, I just can't go on like this. He was, in fact, left with very few options since a regular transplant wasn't going to be available soon enough to save him. So Mr. Sleiman, at 62 years of age, was risking his life before receiving this transplant. He was not able to tolerate dialysis anymore and he wasn't going to get a transplant from a human in time. This is why the FDA gave special permission for Mr. Sleiman's transplant under compassionate use rules. But why aren't they doing the same now for more patients then? I mean, there are still thousands of renal failure patients that will give anything to get the same chance this man got. Who is stopping them from receiving a life-saving transplant? Well, as incredible as it may sound, there is still a controversy surrounding one of the biggest scientific breakthroughs many of us will see in their lifetimes. Who could be opposed to this? who could have anything to say against organs for transplant readily available for everyone? Well, a few organizations have raised concerns about the ethical and social aspects of farming pigs for xenotransplantation. There is one organization in particular that has been extremely vocal against this and that may actually slow down the scientific progress. I'm talking about PETA, the notorious animal rights organization, and they are extremely worried about the welfare of the animals farmed for xenotransplantation. At the point that they are completely opposing the use of bioengineered animals for transplants that they consider unethical and dangerous. This is what they say about that. Animal to human transplants are unethical, dangerous, and a tremendous waste of resources that could be used to fund research that might actually help humans. PETA are also calling this Frankenscience and they are calling the organs we get from these animals stolen. Now, I know that many people would consider what this organization says about this topic just the ramblings of madmen. I mean, it's easy to decide that people must lose their lives in order to save pigs when you are not the one who needs to be tied to a machine three times a week in order to survive. 
But this psychological and social aspect may be a bigger obstacle than people may imagine. I mean, is someone going to throw a bucket of red paint on me if they know that my kidney comes from a pig? Now guys, this is not the only ethical concern about animal organ transplants. <clears throat> You see, when it comes to animal to human transplants, there is also a concern for the broader implications for public health due to the potential for new zoonotic diseases. These are diseases that are not present in humans but that can be passed from animals. This actually happened already during the first heart xenotransplant. In 2022, almost two years ago, David Bennett, the first person to receive a heart transplant from a genetically modified pig, passed away due to heart failure. Just like Mr. Sleiman, Mr. Bennett received an organ from a pig. But what he received was a heart, not a kidney. But he passed away two short months after the transplant and heart failure didn't happen due to rejection and this is why the whole operation was considered a success. But the reason why the transplanted heart stopped was an infection, an infection that according to some sources may have actually originated inside the pig that donated the heart. And this is why some of the concerns about animal human transplantations should actually be taken seriously. Now, it's also important to mention here that Mr. Bennett was extremely frail when he received his heart transplant and his life expectancy wasn't the best anyway. I'm not expecting Mr. Slayman, the man who received the kidney from a pig, to suffer the same fate. As his doctors said, he is very strong and the medical team is also expecting to be able to manage any unforeseen circumstances that may be encountered. So will Mr. Sleiman and his new kidney be fine? Only time will tell what is going to happen. So the big question here is, would you want a kidney from a pig? Okay guys, I want to ask you a question now. If you need a transplant and a kidney from a pig was available, maybe years before a human kidney, would you take it? I already asked this question last time I talked about this topic, but a lot changed since then. So I want to know your answer and I want to see if any of those who said that they didn't want an organ from an animal now changed their minds. So let me know what you think. And if you want to know more about how to take care of your own kidneys so you don't have to think about this problem at all, my video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.